In this tutorial, I'll show how to download the AT stamp firmware into the AT89S52 microcontroller. This is a prototype on a breadboard. The firmware can be found in the firmware folder. You will find two files, atstamp.hex and atstamp underscore download, downloader.exe. If you already have a programmer for Atmel microcontrollers, then you can load this file, hex file, and dump into the flash memory of the microcontroller. But if you don't have a programmer, you can connect the USB to TTL module to the microcontroller via the two wires TX and DTR TX the blue wire is connected to the MOSI master output slave input of the microcontroller and the DTR pin of the module is connected to serial clock pin, the violet wire. This is the reset switch. Since there is no available uh, Atmel programmer currently, I'll show you how to use the AT stamp downloader application. First, I will connect the USB cable to the computer. And check the virtual COM port by clicking on my computer right click properties device manager ports com and lpt double click you will find silicon labs virtual com port on com3 this is what we want the com port number 3 Now run the executable file. It will ask you for the COM port number that we just got from the device manager. So write three and then enter. It tells you press reset button, make it active high then press any key so i will press the reset button then press any key on the computer now the microcontroller will be erased and then the firmware will be dumped into the flash memory of the microcontroller okay we are done that is the message release reset button okay i release this reset button and press any key on the keyboard now the microcontroller is programmed with the firmware it is stamp firmware it should be noted here that the binary file of it stamp firmware is embedded into this executable file you don't need the hex file this is a un an unconventional method of programming but it's working now to check if the firmware is programmed correctly or not we will go to the application folder 
then run the serial port terminal software. Select COM3, board rate 115200 bit per second and open COM port. Now send the command capital T. Okay, the microcontroller replied back by the characters HO, meaning that it is programmed correctly. That's all. Thank you.